But I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. She, I'm pretty sure y'all seen this shit where it's all like this shit's real deep, and it's all like when Tyrese had a breakdown, everybody laughed and became a meme. When Kanye West had a mental breakdown, he became a meme. And when Will Smith, Will Smith, uh, listened to his wife tell him lie that she had an affair, we all laughed at Will. He became a meme. Yet folks wonder why men don't know about their mental health. It's just me, or is that like a false equivalency as like why we really don't do it? And they're just using celebrities opening up publicly. That's why we don't do it. Uh huh. Uh, Cause I don't it, want to sound, it, but it also makes sense. Like, cause like I don't want to come off too dickish and be all like, "Well, they're celebrities; they should have no issues." Cause they're they're men, and of course we're gonna have our own issues, whatever, whatever. But my whole thing about all that is is like it's done publicly and posted everywhere for everybody to see, and yeah. like we all know, like the internet is the wild, wild fucking west for real. Like you're not gonna get sympathy from everybody and then like the tyrese thing while that was a fucked up situation it was again done in public the kanye west thing again done in public and the will smith thing was on the actual show itself and that should have been handled privately yeah if you put it out to the public not every, no not everybody's gonna give a fuck about your whole life that's what i'm saying like i don't i don't post about how i'm feeling every day like on my ig or anything like that at all because i know for one not everybody's gonna give a, a fuck that that's not that's off top and the people who i need who needs to know how i'm feeling i'm going to let them know in private because that's how I, that's how i think that shit should be handled to that, yeah. that degree is like privately maybe that's just me but i, I don't i don't i don't no, get no, like no. The, I, I don't get the equivalency of like oh well that's why i'm to open up it's like no we don't open up because the motherfuckers that we will tell will go to the public about it. We're not gonna inherently just immediately go, hey everybody, my life is fucked up and I'm sad. I don't wanna do that shit. I don't I don't want everybody in my business. Maybe that's just the, the core point I'm trying to get to. I don't like everybody in my business anyways. A am I am I am I crazy for thinking that shit? No. Okay. Like I keep seeing that shit like like reoccurring on my damn timeline. Like I swear to god, I see like maybe three to four times a day and i'm like I, I don't i don't i don't get it like each one of those situations is fucked up in their own right but i'm like i if it's done in front of everybody you can't expect to get sympathy from everyone you know the, Ty oh. the tyrese one is fucked up the kanye one is fucked up and the will smith one i'm not gonna lie that was rough <laughs> that, that, that was rough like and they're like well we made memes out of this and the third i'm all like you do realize how fucked up the internet is niggas niggas be getting killed murdered shot beat the fuck Bro. up like and immediately somebody got a joke or a meme about it like i, I don't understand the, the equivalency of like me telling somebody in private and then them blasting me versus me posting it and expecting some type of remorse and or sympathy. I'm not gonna tell the public shit to private. I'm just not. I'm gonna tell that to my, to like the folks that I know I could trust to not run rampant right. with that information. You feel me? Maybe that's just me, but maybe it's just, maybe, maybe that's just me. No, you're right. I don't know, but uh, any other way, um, so fellas in here are playing some ufc i am currently trying to hit plat it's going very well i have five kills with one squad left yeah, yeah kenny is over here being just extra as hell uh rambo's being a pappy slash uh, mma fighter and dennison's being a damn dennison what game are you playing <clears throat> Man, I'm playing C double A football, oh, man. They threw the band hammer at me, man. <laughs> they threw the band hammer at you? What happened? Man, niggas can't stay out of trouble, man. I'm losing scholarship. Oh, we won. Hey, well, time, 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 time to fuck out, time to fuck out. And y'all, y'all, y'all as as a unit who plays these NCAA games can inform me on this. Niggas can get in trouble on that shit. Yeah, on the older ones, yeah. you can get in trouble. What the fuck? Yeah. See? These niggas can't stay out of trouble, man. They done took a scholarship. They taking TV games. Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. Hey, they man. freaking bad. You can't do it I'm on like I'm, I'm just KI double, trying to stay low and stay out of trouble. 
I, damn, I ain't gonna hold you. That's that's kind of hard, low key. I you know you they they had that. Yeah, they don't got it in a new one though. Like fourteen, they don't got it. That's that's, uh, that's actually kind of fire though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, I'm not gonna hold you. That's kind of dope. Like I, I really low key wish that like more games kind of like add that type of shit. Like. Not as far as like the randomness yeah. of shit and just like kind of like just just shit like that to happen where motherfuckers get in trouble, especially now. Like, could you well, imagine? Like, with some demons, like, could you imagine like if Two K had like scandals and shit like that on it, <laughs> like on your my career? <laughs> that should be fire as fuck. Tell him stop playing with me, dude. Like, man, could you ima- could you imagine like the reason why you got a starting position is because your damn like starting point guard got like a side bitch pregnant or some shit like that? <laughs> I'd laugh. <laughs> that should be heat. Co- uh, Coach, pull you in office. Yeah. So congratulations, you're starting. Oh, you know it's because of my hard work. Nah. So I played last game because you know I did drop forty. I mean, yeah, we seen that, but you know. uh Starting PG, um, he kind of got caught up. Fuck you, mean he got caught up? He he got he got caught in a sex scandal. What he do? I don't want to disclose that information. He got a side bitch pregnant, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hit him with that yeah. Tyreek Evans. Uh, he was uh he had some stuff. You know, That's the lead told him that you uh, <laughs> This can't yeah. Be no more. So uh, yeah, you're the starter. This is like congratulations, you're starting. Well, damn. I mean, go I crazy. Like, downfall, but... like I ain't gonna hold you like if like the my career league like was like live like that for real I don't know to me that just be like dumb hard oh what for like real life shit like would just happen like that'd be just dumb fire to me Rambo I'm sending you a screenshot I'm giving you the same pretty much the same message I give Dante all the time I'm just sending this so I can uh put it on my what's it called Put it on the Discord and shit. So I do not. It's pretty much disregard. They will all season. My niggas been going crazy. You want me to tell him he ain't got a? Uh, you could tell them to pull up if they want to, but they're not. They don't necessarily have to. Cause right now, right now we is kicking it. This is the pre-show right now. Feel me? We live, oh. we chilling, we recording. Yeah, that's what you had to say. Yeah, feed oh. me. I just hope I get to I need me. Also, I ain't gonna hold you. I got the weirdest compliment as well. Was it as weird as getting told you smell like soap? No. Huh. Well, not, actually, no. I got I got a compliment based off like my pullout game, and not by nobody I'm messing with. Wowzer. It, not even about like anybody I was messing with. It was like because like I was talking to like one of my coworkers. You know, a lot of people that like got kids and shit now. And then they uh, they asked me, "It's like, so uh, how old are you?" I was like, "27." They're like, "You ain't got no kids?" I was like, "Yeah, no kids." I'm like, all right, I see what the A one pullout game, and they gave me a fist bump and in my head. I'm like, "That's the weirdest shit ever," because it was a female too. I was like, "This is," I mean, thank you. <laughs> What's that, heavy? I was like, I mean, yeah, I, I guess. I was like, I'll be honest, I, in my in my younger years, you know, 13, 14, I figured I'd have a baby by now, but the cost of living went up, bitch. Nope, can't do it. The price on the house went up. The <laughs> gas prices went up. I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> like, you know, it's a fucked up position to be in. You got to choose whether you're going to get gas or food. Oh shit! You don't never want to be, and I've been in that position before. You don't never want to be all like, "I'm on my last ten dollars, <laughs> and my gas and my gas tank is a uh, a centimeter from E." But Wendy's got that four for four. He's got to figure out: Are you gonna eat? Or are you gonna get some gas? Fucked up because you don't get paid for like another two weeks. Make this make good decisions with your money, people. That's all I'm gonna tell you. 
Be single. <laughs> Make good decisions. Be single. Be single. Call it a day. <laughs> he said, "Be a nigga and split wow. that." I mean, have you definitely could was out of doctor? You definitely could split that. I was saying, get the faux faux, then put the other like five some in the tank. Hey, get you to work tomorrow. It'll definitely get you to work tomorrow. But after that, you gotta be like. And when you living like that, anybody ask you to go out, be like, hell no. Hey, <laughs> I, I got I, enough gas to get me to work and back. Bro, uh, dang, that should be the worst. I, I like I said, I've been in that position. I was like, fuck, I'm gonna get paid for another two weeks. I was getting rides, like I was still in high school. And the fucked up part about, it, I had a damn car in high school. That shit was so trash. That shit was trash. I'm just saying, nah, fuck being single. I'm playing. I'm the biggest fucking teddy bear, probably next to Biggie, and that's just because he's hey. built like one. Um, see me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> he breathes like one too you can see me too nigga it is what it is bro it is what it is then oh god oh, i know this nigga do nasty ass tats my fault hey yo <laughs> but oh, that, that that shit man look you know it's even more fucked up i'm making a video on this too my uh when i was watching football like with my uncle and like my well basically like my family and shit right mm -hmm. uh he was explaining about like how like uh his like grandkids and shit like that like they be you know uh playing like the game and shit and i'm all like yeah online game is basically like, the new normal now i was like back once upon a time it was just strictly single player you just buy the game get whatever i literally had to explain to my dad I forgot how like disconnected he is from like gaming. Mm -hmm. I had to explain to him like how gaming is now. Cause like when I explained to him like how V Bucks or like Robux and or like VC and shit like that is like done now, he was like just baffled. He's like, so you mean to tell me dudes are spending their money, actual. like actual money for yeah. virtual money? And I literally had yeah. to explain to it in like the most simplest of forms. And he understood it. But he's like, so so he's like, so what's the point of buying the game? I was like, here's the thing how you play because my pops we strictly couch gaming like mm -hmm. you know he ain't gonna play online he's gonna just play a season or play against computer or we come over play against us type shit mm -hmm. i was like for the type of gaming you do you ain't gotta worry about microtransactions you buy the game you got the game that you want to play it's all you play is sports games anyway so you're fine i was like but for everybody else in the world we're kind of fucked <laughs> i was like because i like playing online and I kind of hate it. I'm like, and 2K is like the worst proprietor of it. Like almost every other game, I could ignore it, but 2K, I refuse to go out and be a damn 65 overall online. I, Bro, you tried it. You definitely tried. Hey, I got all the way to a fucking 68, and I was like, all right, I need VC. Uh, I was sitting there, we'll spend the VC, man. I felt like I was saying, spend the VC, Dave. You definitely was, but I got to a 68 overall, mm -hmm. goddamn it, all natural. <laughs> Hey, you you got up there. That shit. After that, nah. Oh, the crazy part was me spending me getting to like a sixty-eight. Damn, like I really, I kind of wish I had got to a seventy. But getting to that sixty-eight all natural actually did save me money. <laughs> it did. I only had to spend that VC for literally for like just one player instead of like to spend like a damn near a hundred. I spent fifty. And I was done. I was like, yeah. But I ain't buying the next 2K though, so y'all can dead that. Um Man, but you ain't buying the next one. I know. I'm not buying the next one. I'm I'm, I'm retiring, dog. I don't want to play this shit no more. I don't. I'm tired. I'm tired of getting beat, Jody. <laughs> 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 I feel like if, eating, if they I, actually did the game right, I wouldn't have an issue. <laughs> We go through this every time. It's always like the, like they have a few things they do to fix, and then just the shit just goes left. Yeah, because half of the community is like, yeah, y'all just got a few things you need to fix. Other community is like, bro, why can't I do this like I did before, man? This shit is trash, nigga. Bro, you know what's one thing I like dead ass and like so happy I like missed out on because like considering I didn't have you know a squad or anything like that, and I was just kind of playing dolo. The whole demigod thing. Jesus. I'm so happy I missed out on that. I'm sorry I might have gave some of y'all PTSD like listening. 
in and shit like that. Sweaty on Xbox during the demigod glitch. I, I probably gave some of y'all PTSD, but I'm so happy I missed that because by the time that was like really running rampant, I was already like off. Like I was already like off of the game and I was like, all right, cool. Uh, I think I was playing like Call of Duty heavy at that time too. Like I just moved on because like, I don't have any friends. And all my friends that I do have, I was all like, I'm not good at 2K, but I'm like, I'm better than oh. y'all. And trying to play with y'all sometimes can be very annoying. Oddly enough, one of my best like squads, no bullshit, was playing with Adrian and Oscar. No bullshit. Playing oh with, yeah, when you have to play like park. Yeah, because playing with Adri, all she cared about was just playing defense and getting assists. <laughs> playing with Oscar, all he wanted to do was just get rebounds and shoot. <laughs> that was it. So every base was covered for real. It was the most beautiful shit ever. We went like on a five or six game win streak one night, and I was like, how? I was like, hey, none of us got stick skill for real. I'm the best at all of us. I'm like, that's that's not that impressive for real. This shouldn't be working. Mm-hmm. But it somehow did. But ah, what's going on, people? Welcome to another, another episode of the Run Those Games podcast. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, this podcast is sponsored by us. You dig what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> I was about to say, damn, we got a sponsorship? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's sponsored by us. No, I'm saying make sure you cop some. Yeah, uh, make sure you cop some of that merch. Dig what I'm saying. Make sure you support everybody in the motherfucking uh, in the group and whatnot. Links will be in the description, as well as listen to this podcast. Make sure that you rate this thing five stars and have a podcast, as well as Spotify. Because Spotify, if I haven't said it already, I'm gonna say it one more time. You can now rate podcasts on Spotify. So go ahead and rate this thing five goddamn stars on there, as well as share this on all platforms because we know you got them and follow us individually and as well as the group pages all the links to that good stuff will be in the description as well as the uh bio in the audio version in case you listen to this odd uh audio lee whatever the hell fuck it i'm tired i did legs kiss my ass (laughs) (laughs) but we about to go around the horn let everybody get their uh intros off so uh biggie go ahead brother it was good i ain't really got much to say right now uh, video coming soon, and I'm ready to talk games. All right, uh, Kenny, go ahead, brother. Oh man, it's King Kenny, the elite gamer, aka Kenny Sins. <laughs> no, I'm here to talk not. about games, man. Clipping that, I'm clipping that off top. <laughs> Dennison, go ahead, brother. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. Yes, sir. No, I'm not, I can't say that I'm back, but let me tell y'all something. I survived. I'm here. COVID tried to take a nigga out. It wasn't strong enough. So now that I'm here, now that I am with my people. Welcome to this game podcast. Let's get it on, man. <laughs> Remind me here going forward whenever we have Dennis on the podcast. So make sure he go last because he, he does like the WWE intro every time. I swear to God, like go, Listen, like bro, like <laughs> swear to God, like going after Denison is kind of like going after like fucking Method Man and Red Man at a live show. You don't want to do it. My bad, Rambo. I set you up, brother. I oh, know you good. I'm chilling. Man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, what's good, chat. You know what I'm saying, how everybody doing? We back with another one. I'm here to talk shit like always. Y'all know how I do. Let's get it nephew in the back was full of hell earlier so let's hope that he done chilled out oh he's sleep he oh he's sleep now eating. i bet he's not eating. All, right. all right man well let me go ahead and take a drink of this water real quick make sure y'all stay drinking water goddamn um first order of business xbox done added another damn studio uh to their gauntlet they have recently bought Activision slash Blizzard. What are we gonna call them? We're just gonna call them Acta Blizzard or Blizzard Blizzard Vision. They're still Activision and Blizzard. God, I hate that shit. Can they just combine the shit? But they have recently bought Activision and Blizzard. Um, and uh, they already acquired Take Two and slash Zynga, one of the like the biggest damn like mobile market producers, uh, mobile game producers and shit like that. 
uh and basically the catalog is getting bigger for game pass shit like that we on this over here continue to praise fucking game pass because it saves us so much money it's nice. ridiculous <laughs> Every, anytime, take off dead space 3 take that shit off game pass oh we definitely gonna talk about right. that because i i didn't get to see that stream but I, I got the giggling when i seen the tweet um but uh yeah like the, the the shit every time we see like it's coming to xbox we immediately say it's gonna be on game pass and we just see like in big ass text on game pass it makes life easy it essentially brings back like the 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 best buy uh what was that what was the other spot the game crazy like game crazy type vibes. Uh, I, had, uh, I had Rhino, Rhino, GameStop, and uh, I forgot. I can't remember what other place. I remember I GameStop, like Power Play or whatever the fuck. I think it's different everywhere. It's mom and pop shops. Yeah, but like we could like just try before, like you could try before you buy. Essentially, like that's what Game Pass really does, and it's so enjoyable because I get to play so many games. For like what it's like 10 bucks a month uh um, like 10 or 15 right 15 if 16. you want ultimate oh, okay 16 yeah 16 yeah so i mean they they doing they doing they shit over there uh a lot of people were like nervous at least like cod folks i i, I don't anybody here give a fuck about cod anybody i do no. i enjoy it okay so you enjoy it but i mean like it eh. <laughs> I don't, care. I don't care too much about it but biggie's over here raging at apex so go ahead and get your giggles in um but people worried about cod and like what's the future for it cod makes way too much money across the board to just be thoroughly exclusive on one damn platform um and it was like released that the next like three cods will be like across will be released across all platforms as well um and in other news that actually did release today, staying on the, the whole COD Activision S topic, um, the next Call of Duty will be uh, developed by Infinity Ward. And in the group chat, I'm gonna go ahead and quote this damn thing because y'all niggas is ignorant. Funny. What I do? Nah, y'all, you know what the fuck y'all did. Um, I, did. I, I don't even think I was involved in that one. Uh. Da, 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 what, what the hell y'all niggas say? Oh, yeah. Biggie said, and I quote, name a better dynamic duo than COD and Innovation because COD, <laughs> Call of Duty, and we could all attest to this, love saying they're innovative. They're innovating. Yeah, I really wish they would stop with that fucking word. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fam, you know they're not. <laughs> you know they're not. Say anything like the, with the, uh, with the, with the blazer t-shirt and jean combo, it ain't going nowhere. <laughs> Bro, well, you know, they've been saying innovation since like MW3. Bro, I remember that. Fuck Final Stand. We're innovating. Call of Duty Ghosts. We're innovating. All that he can do is make a damn telephone pole fall. Like, but Bro. Biggie Biggie said that, and then it went down an entire line of name better duo. And Ramble proceeds to say 2K and rework. Oh, I'm trying to tell you, bro. We've reworked these. Man, bitch, you reworked everything. I still ain't forgot you bastards ain't put the new piece of stances. Like. Like dead ass. It, it's funny. It's it's funny as hell, but it's a fact. Cause all they always say or ambitious. We're our most ambitious project yet. Oh man. That that's another one. Our most ambitious uh project yet coming they, to the city. They, they, hey, 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 Biggie, Biggie, it's groundbreaking. <laughs> another one. They always say that shit, bro. And it's, it's like groundbreaking graphics, bitch. <laughs> We built this game from the ground up. Oh no, that's 2K. That's 2K. For that's sure. definitely 2K. That's 2K. But groundbreaking, groundbreaking. They said that in uh, in Modern Warfare. They said Modern Warfare was gonna be groundbreaking. Yeah. Modern Warfare did change the game a little bit, but god damn it, it, it didn't do it. It, it changed the game because of Warzone, not because it, the game. Yeah, was it good. it didn't do it the way that we wanted it to. Cause the, the the reveal for it, I ain't gonna lie, had me hyped. The way they was talking about the customizing the weapons and shit like that, I'm like, bro, fuck with it. But then you get to the actual combat and playstyle and maps, I'm like, this this why? I feel like the biggest thing, especially for Modern Warfare was really because we've all because we've said before the gunplay on that game was great bro headshotting someone with the deagle was oh my god the gunplay on that game was great movement was kind of stiff but it still wasn't terrible mm -hmm. yeah it wasn't bad it, it wouldn't 
it it's not it, like it's it was stiff but it was like normal call of duty type stiff like call of duty is i'm used to call of duty being that stiff yeah uh cold war is probably the most fluid call of duty i've ever played um because the only thing that i could give like if we were going to bring up like black ops 3 yeah it, that's more, that's where i was probably yeah going it just had verticality and that's no i go ahead go ahead no sorry i knocked the dude out my bad sorry oh, <laughs> oh I, I, thought, I thought you had something uh but for I, I see what you're saying, Biggie, and I do agree with you to a, to a degree. But I probably more so biased, and probably Rambo is too. I love Titanfall yeah. too, like oh, man. like that game's movement is. I, I stand by this. It's one of the best first person shooters to come out in like the last like ten years. I stand by that. Oh, I agree with that. It's top two, and it's probably not two. I'm gonna be honest. Like we need like they, another they, one response with playing. It's not gonna happen for a while. Um but like that game's like movement gunplay it was just great all around so like going from that and then black ops 3 like was a very good a very simple transition because titanfall 2's movement was already great even like with the mechs and then call of duty added i'm like this this is just as smooth but i see what you're saying though with like call of duty as far as like you know yeah. the newer like, ones. I was gonna say, like even if we compare black ops 3 and uh titanfall 2 i didn't play it that much i think i played the beta i think they had a little bit and maybe a little bit of a full game game is fantastic like, I feel like that game was still more fluid than black ops 3. oh it was yeah. it was yeah, cause like, that's what i mean like when it comes to fluid movement cold war is like the best one that we've gotten but all other call of duties if you go back and play them it's like they're as stiff as modern warfare yeah for the most part like when it comes to actual movement they're as stiff as modern warfare yeah. and huh. so that like eh, it's stiff it's Call of Duty. I expected that. The biggest part for Modern Warfare when it came to the regular game was just the maps. Hey, y'all want to play Piccadilly? Holy, <laughs> no way you just said that. Like, like once they, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Once they got some decent maps, I played that game a lot more. We did. I, I, I agree. I can't, I can't deny that. Decent map. Everything else besides the seven two five, because that. That was uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so every every Call of Duty got a seven two five ass gun. Let's yeah. be honest. It, it, it usually does. The Spaz, Modern Warfare Two, uh, Black Ops Three was the Brecky. I'm going based on like the the guns that I could like off top remember. Yeah. And the first thing you ain't say was pre patch model eighteen eighty seven. I say I say Spaz. That's why, cause I remember that Spaz, cause I was sniping people with that shit the model 1880 whatever the fuck those shits were dumb too but every yeah every cod does have like that shotgun where we're just all like <laughs> yeah so like certain things it's like all right and it's like they're negatives but i'm gonna still play the game like the shotguns like it get annoying but i still enjoyed modern warfare especially like i said once they got the maps because then um, that was the biggest flaw Cause a lot of the, cause the gunplay was already good. Yeah. So if you on a map that's good and the gunplay is good and the movement is Call of Duty, it's a pretty good game, right then and there. Yeah. I, you didn't get too many disagreements out of me on that point. Yeah. I remember because we mentioned this on the previous podcast how they had to pretend how they're probably gonna start taking time in between each game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. While that is fine and dandy. We wrong that, that that that's that's fantabulous and all the other good shit. Mm-hmm. My whole thing is, it's Activision, bro, and we've been scarred a lot. Yeah. Like, do y'all think that they're gonna stay true to that shit? Um, or are they just gonna do like one take and then? Depends on how it affects their income. Okay. Yo, I'm gonna so, say yeah. right now, it depends on Warzone too. I say because if they see like their income dip, oh, they're going back. If going even back if it's not that much, what do we come up? They're going back. Like, do you see do you like because you remember like in the last one we talked about how like they're gonna potentially take like time in between an actual time in between. We're not getting yearly. Do you think that's actually going to stick that way, or do you just think there's gonna be like a trial run for them? <sighs> with xbox no like with activision like as like as a whole yeah but what i'm saying is with because they're with xbox i think they can do that mm. because 
if they're okay so let's just say hypothetically that they do the whole exclusive on xbox it becomes easier to put out content for just one console if you only have to make it optimized for one console but then after that all you have to prioritize is the updates then yeah then i think they'll be fine now as long as it's on playstation that's gonna be a different story you know what else i just thought about right now too like speaking of like staying on cod how's that anti-cheat anybody in here know I think good um, so far i ain't i ain't running to no cheater yesterday they just um when me and kenny got on they had just had another wave of uh bands go out damn people. they bad oh, line people so i mean I are they doing ips or is it just like they could just go to like a new account type they shit put you, they still doing that whole put you on the server with other cheaters, other cheaters. Mm. yeah okay they all just gotta deal with each other <laughs> so like they certain people certain people they do get up out of there okay certain people they do get completely up out of there but i've been wanting to like try to play that because it'd be looking like y'all be having fun on there from time to time but two things one doing, but, man. man it's rumbo got, rumbo got pooped on last night it's the size of that oh, game that be killing me too wow. though oh yeah you know you know what's crazy with call of duty not looking like they about to make another war zone and ain't gonna do nothing but get bigger man look bigger honey green man i've been on that shit a lot lately that shit cool they not, they not, they not gonna once make you get once you get used to it people really really like if they make a really good call of duty and people want that movement and stuff in there then they might think about it i mean they should have did it with cold war i think a lot more people will play it uh if with the movement maybe cold war oh my god if it like if they ha if it had cold war's gunplay i don't think so wars modern warfare gunplay is way better but just the movement yeah if it just if they just added cold war movement then yeah but at the same time if they tried to do that the question is does somebody does the community of sweats Get upset because they have to learn new a whole new movement style of course and you can't slide cancel the same way you do in war zone hey war. of course they would because they'll figure it out yeah they'll figure it out but it's, it's kind of like um the way i've always kind of looked at this shit now is like y'all remember like during basketball season like training camp and shit like that conditioning we Ooh. all had the same exact thought day one do i really want to do this shit that's mm -hmm. some bullshit. Do the, I need to the very first week, you're like, do I, do I really want to hoop this year? And it's after true. that, you kind of get used to it. Like, all right, fuck it. And then before you know, you kind of just like you're acclimated to it. Like suicides yeah. will always suck, but your your lungs kind of just like, eh. That first it. two days of not even touching the basketball is hell, bro. Pisses me off. It's hell. <laughs> Let me take a jumper. Let me do something. Damn. Free throw, please. <laughs> Let me run some basketball drills, nigga. Damn. Yeah, it's the worst. It's the worst shit ever. Like that's the way I see it. Like especially like in the gaming community, it's like kind of like the same shit. Where like they get pissed off about something that you know they can't do anymore. Like oh, I can't do this, that, and the third, blah, 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 and then they adjust to it and then keep playing it. It's kind of like you just gotta, you just gotta learn it. That's it. Like I understand. Yeah. Like if they took away, kind of like a. Uh, Rambo Kenny, you know what I'm talking about? Kind of like how you went from, I hate to say it, but like Gears 3 and then the game that shall not be named. <laughs> I understand that type of like different shit. Like that, I understand. But like little things like movement that you can easily adjust and then figure out how to get better at and still be elite. Cause elite motherfuckers gonna figure out a way. Yeah. You feel me? They, they gonna figure it out. Always gonna figure it out. Like, I, I don't see what the problem is, but people complain every year about the same shit, man. Same no matter shit. what it is, they do it on 2K, they do it on Call of Duty, they do it on Apex every season. Well, 2K, they don't listen at all. <laughs> at all. Yeah. But, but also at the same time, when they do listen, like when everybody was like, even though we didn't really want them to listen that much, 
but it was still kind of an issue. Shooting, once you learned how to shoot in 2K20, it it was it was kind of OD. <laughs> it needed a little tweak. But people were complaining so much, like, all right, let's go ahead and nerf it. And it was like, this is what y'all wanted. And y'all didn't get your bad mop. That will, those two years will always be funny to me, the 20 and 21 region. Mm -hmm. Because this is what you wanted. There was that, and it was, we, were, we were all said the same shit. Did you get your badges? Well, no. Then shut up. <laughs> Bro. Like, 20, 20 shooting wasn't that difficult. Man. Going from 19 to 20 wasn't that hard of a curve. Like, 20 to 21 is more of a curve, but honestly, they literally low-key broke the game with the damn... I'm not going to say... Eh, I don't want to say broke, but they literally made shooting easy as shit once you use the stick. Because yeah. all, all of us learned how to use a stick on that game before the Zens came out. Like, we all figured out how to use a stick, and it was easy as shit. But, you know. I don't want to learn. I want to stay with the same shit that complain about it being the same... Why do people do... Quick tangent. Y'all, why do folks do that shit? <laughs> it's humans. Why do they do that shit? They want something new. They get something new and actually fresh and that's actually good. And they complain that it's different. Ooh, I want you to think about something. <laughs> think about the amount of people that sit at home and complain that nothing is changing in their life, but they also just sit at home. Yeah. There are people complaining that the new Horizon Zero Dawn game has... Like, there's this part where she jumps off a cliff and, like, uses her grappling hook to, uh -huh. like, go down. People complain because it's the same exact animation Ooh. from the first game. I know exactly, I know exactly, because I've seen that, that, that post on my Twitter feed, and they're like, it's the same thing. And I'm like, do y'all not? Here's the thing. One day we're going to get a developer on here to explain this shit to us. But at the basic level of development, I understand that you're going to re reuse some resources and animations because then it makes the animation and then development process of the game more simple because you don't have to necessarily change an entire thing about a game. So I'm like, is this what we're complaining about? The same animation, but just better graphics? I'm like, they add more shit to the game. Of course, some shit's going to stay the same because why reinvent the wheel? It's just like people complain sure when you know, yeah, like people complain when you don't change enough, <laughs> and if you change too much, they complain. Like get the fuck out of here. Thank you, like bro. People, it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. It's funny though, cause I see that shit, and I'm like, there's no way y'all are actually like bitching about this. So like, if 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 let's just use Horizon Zero Dawn for example. Go ahead. If in game, in game, not out like the real world, but in game, it was a 10 to 12 year gap between when we first played with Aloy and then the new game that came out. Okay, cool. Okay, I understand certain animations should be different. This game is little for, literally 45 minutes after the first one ended. This is 45 minutes after the first one ended. You know my favorite part about Horizon Zero Dawn is? What? When they showed the picture of her, and apparently they expected her to have on makeup. Oh yeah, she doesn't look feminine. And I was like, "Do y'all not know? Like, like women don't be wearing makeup all the time." That's 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 the weirdos we, we we be talking about in like Discord and group chat. Because I'm not gonna lie, I seen them like there's no way y'all are bitching about this. Mm -hmm. Y'all complain because she ain't have on makeup. Like, motherfucker, this is not the time to be trying to look pretty. Who is she trying to look pretty for? Like, she's out here in the streets trying to survive and, like, discover her history and all this other shit. And you expect her to look cute for you? Nigga, what? Just look cute oh, for the game. Oh, 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 gotta put oh, on my oh, lipstick before oh, I go. I'm sorry. <laughs> right? We, we, we gotta have this conversation. What up? We gotta have this conversation. What you got? I put this, I put this in the group chat. Earlier this week, it was an article from Rolling Stone. Mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead, bro. <laughs> Some of you motherfuckers is so weird. Why in the fuck do you want that the green Eminem to continue <laughs> having on high heels because she is now no longer attracted to you? You want her to remain attractive, like you were gonna take her on a date? Yo, it's a fucking piece of chocolate. <laughs> it's a piece of chocolate. It's a fucking piece of chocolate. Why? Why? They are. They oh, have to be. 
Hold on. I've there's seen, I've seen, I've dude. seen that. Hold on, I've seen that. Because the actual title is funny. <laughs> no, like, I need to stay away from that one. Hey, the, I'm not the, touching the this. article. <laughs> the article is titled. It says, "Let the green Eminem." Hold on, matter of fact, no, hold on. I'm gonna read it. I want. I'm, I'm gonna read it verbatim. It said like, "Let the green Eminem be like slutty again" or I'm some weird shit, shit like that. I mean, it I'm says, scrolling. "Let the green Eminem be a nasty little slut." Yep. <laughs> Bro, get the fuck out of here, dude. Okay, here's the thing. You are dead poor. ass. Did any of y'all notice that change? No, because I don't be watching commercials, but knowing what I care, it's a fuck. Man, I'm not like, watching for Eminem to be wearing high heels. Man. Oh, God, bro. I, sw- I swear to God, when I seen like the side by side comparison, like when I seen the announcement, like, they changed it. So, like, she looks the same as everybody else, right? I was like, what mm-hmm. the fuck did they change? I had to go to the comments. I literally had to go to the comments and I'm like, oh, she's not wearing the heels no more. I'm like, oh, what the oh my god. I honestly didn't even realize I'm the champion, by the way. Hold on. Oh, I see. Oh, I didn't even realize that they took that they took it that they took it off. Like Like nigga, nobody noticed. Why? Hey man, that she wearing vans? I swear to God. We can't make this up. <laughs> <laughs> bro over what up does he said motherfuckers motherfuckers playing over chocolate yes that shit is weird they wanted they want sexual chocolate i never even, i never i never i never even recognized she was wearing high heels the end of the green i didn't even notice big mark, this is the thing big mark. when is the last time you actually seen that bitch in the commercial it's usually you only see them niggas one time a year and it's in fucking december when them niggas is in the crib with santa claus that's the only time you see these niggas or she's not bowl. in the commercial that's it or during the super bowl those like the only times you actually see like the eminem commercials for real during the christmas still... time and super bowl that's it bro all they did was give her some vans and give her some pants and a shirt you know what i'm gonna chalk this up to the same shit that we that we say down here every podcast we try to figure out why motherfuckers be doing the most Niggas is bored. Especially it's COVID. Niggas is bored. Like, Niggas is yeah, bored. like, for, like, look, look, look at what, look at what, as a people, what we are outraged about. Now, I will say this one tweet is hilarious. But I said they told the Green Eminem she couldn't go to Euphoria High School. <laughs> that's crazy. No, that's nuts. No, that's nuts. <laughs> I do have something I want to talk to y'all about, like off podcast, because mm-hmm. I'm I'm genuinely trying to figure out if I'm fucking crazy or not. But it's not it's not podcast friendly. Um, right. that shit. Oh, that shit goofy. That shit goofy. Like y'all mad over M and M's now? She not wearing the. She ain't wearing the cowboy boot heels with her legs out. And bro, like all of us say, we didn't fucking notice. I swear I didn't notice. I was so confused. I just wanted to know who the voice actor was. I'm over here th- thinking like they did something dramatic, like they made the damn red Eminem like the damn peanut one or some shit. I was they like, did oh. some sh- or they did some outlandish shit. Like, yeah, now she's, you know, I'm gonna stay away from that word. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> I won't say what it started with. Or like, or like, God forbid, they're all like, oh yeah, well now we're gonna give her like boo. Like, so you trying to make a damn Eminem attractive? What is going on? Can I go to Earth too, man? I want to go to Earth too. If they were too. trying to make her attractive, I feel like I'd have a bigger problem. <laughs> like, can like, I go to Earth too already, dog? I'm sick. I'm sick of this planet. This ghetto here. Like, bro, why the Why the Eminem got got a C cup? What the hell going on? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh uh, Jesus Christ! Can outside just open up fully? Um, no, because niggas wouldn't. Last time outside opened up, Travis Scott. Right. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, that's crazy. We gonna keep. That. We gonna keep going. Um. So, another acquisition news. Uh, Sony has recently bought Bungie. Uh, wait. I don't need to explain who the fuck Bungie is to y'all. Y'all, y'all listen to the podcast enough. Um, and the plans for them is they want to turn the franchise, specifically like Destiny and shit like that. Because if y'all don't know, uh, Halo is actually gonna be on Paramount Plus, which is like their streaming service, like their little TV series. It does look fire. A quick question. I know I'm not crazy. They already had a TV show like years ago, right? Halo what was it Halo Red Red versus Blue? Yeah, Red versus Blue. Was on no, 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 not Red versus Blue. I'm talking. Oh, about, talking about uh, actual, live, like, live action. action. 
Red versus Blue was for live action, wasn't it? No, no, no. Mm-hmm. Red versus Blue was gate was uh, all like that was gaming. Rooster Teeth. Yeah, that was like Rooster Teeth and it shit. Was, it was gaming, and I think it turned into like full blown animation. Yeah, once it got... uh, yeah. But live action. It was a. It was, yeah, it was a live action one. It was like ODST. Yeah, I about to say I know I'm not crazy. I'm pretty sure they had a live action one, but um, basically they uh, what Sony wants to do is start turning like uh, Destiny and whatnot into like movies and potentially shows and shit like that. They actually had uh, let me bring this damn article up. Uh, they actually did have like job listings and postings and shit like that as far as like voice actors, animators, so on and so forth. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but I personally would love a damn Destiny like tv show that shit would be fire because there's so much lore within that damn world that was i'm not gonna lie the way that they did that shit during destiny 1 and even destiny 2 was kind of ass with the whole voice recordings and other shit it was hard to fucking follow because motherfuckers didn't even know that destiny had dragons in it or dragons like in that world like yeah um but they they want to do shit like that they actually want to make most like more of their titles and shit like that. And it's like Sony as a whole as well. Like not even only just like Bungie, but they actually want to make like their IPs and shit like that. into like movies and TV shows. Uh, Cause the, I almost said the last of us, not that one. Uh, Uncharted is actually getting a movie. And it low key look, I, right. I'm not the biggest Uncharted fan, but look, I, right. so if that movie does successful. They definitely gonna do more. Yeah. It's not a movie. I thought it was a TV series. No, I'm talking about Uncharted. Uncharted. I'm talking about Uncharted. Oh, oh no! You know, that's what I'm saying. If Uncharted does successful, I hope it oh, does. Oh, Sony gonna be like, hey, oh, oh no, no, we no, got no, more no. ideas. Oh no, 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 no! You're out your rabbit ass mind if you think Sony is not already committed to doing at least three movies. That shit. Oh, that shit. Yeah, that, yeah. that shit look alright. But yeah, so th- that, that's what they plan on doing. Um as far as like the whole bungee acquisition goes like they actually want to get like uh shows tvs books audio project basically like everything possible like with the the bungee like universe shit like that they want to get that done and a uh, concern that some people had with this acquisition was all like well, what's gonna happen with destiny um they actually said that they're going to just basically let bungee work uh independently and so on and so forth so they basically have creative control over like the gaming aspect of it so there won't be any type of like uh what most i'm pretty sure like remember you remember like what they did with the first was it forsaken yeah forsaken no the taken mm-hmm. king when it was on playstation like exclusively for like a hot ass minute and they had all this other bullshit but that was back when it was with activision so it's not going to be any of this they're still committed to having it be like an entire universe an entire uh platform for gamers uh as a whole which is fan fucking tastic i like being able to play with all my homies all across different platforms it, it makes life easy and fucking fun but what, what y'all thinking about a potential bungee universe i like it i want i really for like movies like that i not mean movies movies or tv shows i want there's certain games that i really want them to do a destiny i wasn't thinking about it but now that i am that could be fire and as you know even though they're technically now xbox or microsoft i really want overwatch to do a full-on movie or tv show i really want i want like games like that i don't want every game to have a tv show because that's when it turns in like when every video when every movie had a video game let's not talk about those dark years (laughs) definitely some dark years like the avatar video you don't fuck with you don't fuck with you don't fuck with super mario and he almost banned you almost banned you almost banned you no i don't i don't want it to get to that point like how they had like the avatar like the blue people video game that shit they had a damn game for every single movie. original Matrix game. They still doing it. What you talking about, Biggie? No, I mean the you original one. Like... Just making live action animes. Yeah, I don't like that either. Cause they don't do them right. But I re- like those like the companies or games like that when they have a lot of story that they could tell because they don't show it all in the actual game, mm. like. Overwatch and Destiny have a lot of shit that unless you go and find it, you would not know. Like we were talking about dragons. You would not know they were in that game unless you went to go look for it. Overwatch has so much story. 
I want more games like that to do it. So I, I really hope this does well. So more companies are like, you know, now I that I think about story. it, that might be the one that nobody's talking about. Everybody's talking about Call of Duty. What you got? Overwatch. Overwatch. Mm. Bro, Call of Duty movie would be straight ass. You know why? Cause no, 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 some... no one wants a Call of Duty movie. I'm just saying, niggas. Oh, sorry, um, sorry, sorry, um, sorry, don't even put a, don't put a, uh, a rock in it. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Kenny, you just unintentionally broke news. You did. They are making a Call of Duty. You movie. definitely did. Oh and it is being God. led by the Rock. And it is going to be. And it oh, is yeah. going to be with the Rock. I told. I'm I already knew that. it. Nigga, you can guess that. I saw y'all. Put, I saw K Dog put that. I was like, why? I want to see that I shit. That oh yeah, you did. K Dog was just like, why? Gonna be, you know what that shit gonna be? Oh, I did. I remember. I put that in there. I yeah, remember that when I we put that. I said that shit. I said the crazy. I said the crazy thing is that shit gonna be looking like advanced warfare. That's what I said. Yo, <laughs> it definitely is. They're not about to make no modern day Call of Duty game. That shit about to be in space, dog. It definitely really, gonna do Black Ops Three or Infinite or Advanced Warfare. One of those. Definitely things. about to be the Rock. It's gonna be. It's gonna be the real Fast Furious Ten. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 not wrong. This thing gonna be Hobbs. <laughs> this thing gonna be Hobbs, Luke. I hey, wait. Now I really want to know what character he's gonna be playing because Call of Duty gonna be Hobbs, Luke, characters. man. No, but because I'm saying Call of Duty already has set characters. So who is he supposed to be? Some nigga in 2148. Um, no, it's in the far future. It won't matter because all the characters we know is dead. Is they be dead by then. That's what I'm saying. Like, who is the rock gonna be in the Call of Duty game? Tell me, bro. It's gonna be advanced warfare. He gonna be like a descendant of fucking Captain um, Price. Price. They gonna make him soap. <laughs> They're gonna make him soap or ghost watch. He gonna be soap. He gonna be soap. Too swollen. He's gonna be soap or ghost. He gonna be soap's long lost grandson or some shit, man. Bro, uh, like who that became asked, a super fighter. Who the fuck asked for that? Out of like the grand scheme of like games, and I'm pretty sure we could all go on a list of like games, like because we've been asking for a Gears movie potentially for like that's a minute. What I, that's what I thought it was going to be. That's what I was I hoping. It was be Gears, well, I need a Gears. I'm, I'm a crowd. Like, I feel like a Gears crowd. movie would be fire. Like you know Gears, doing a call God of War, movie, fucking like bro, so many that could Gears, potentially you know fire. Crazy. I'm you know, I think they're doing a that. Call of Duty movie though. What up? To it plays on pretty much as much as you know some people get tired of the same type shit that uh what's his name all the shit blowing up I forget his name Michael oh, Bay Michael Bay Michael Bay type shit oh it's definitely gonna be that yeah but if it's that people are gonna it's watch perfect. it of course they are because people are action junkies I I ain't gonna hold you quick show. quick side tangent I, I I have a hard time watching action movies now yeah, because once you, because for some people I know, it's like I don't understand why people love it so much, but it's un, it's a unfortunate truth that humans like seeing shit blow up. I just have a hard time. <laughs> I, sus- I have a hard time suspending myself in disbelief because I start noticing right. shit, and then on top of that, mm-hmm. I have a real right. bad habit of counting bullets. That's a fact. John Wick, the only nigga yeah, that ever reloaded in movies. Yeah, like I have a real hard time. Ca- like I have a real hard time suspending myself in disbelief, and like I'll count bullets. Like automatics, I'm like, dog, I've shot and been around automatics like dog them shits fire fast as shit and you're not just gonna sit there and be built like a damn number two pencil and hold an ak straight it's not fucking happening especially if you're holding that bitch auto like fully auto like not burst firing it's just not happening or like pistols and shit like that i'm like sitting there counting to like a max of like maybe 15 to 16 shots right at max no extend though taking 30 shots yeah and i'm all like he's at 24 no extended clip it hasn't reloaded the next action I, movie ain't got a switch on it. A switch on their gun. I ain't trying to see. <laughs> I watched the last maybe 35, 40 minutes of that. Um, what's that Matrix movie? The new one. Yeah, that had to be the worst shit I ever seen in my life, bro. People said that movie is terrible. <laughs> it, that movie is fucking god awful. It, it bro. sucks because like it had potential, especially like with the whole spoiler alert. Especially with the whole like, uh, like y'all remember the movie uh, Hitchcock or no Hancock, Hancock, right? Yeah, yeah. Yo, Hancock deserved the second movie. Bro. Hancock fire, but like you know, like how like they like the closer they got, then they became more like separately like they're powerful as shit type shit. 
but mm-hmm. this kind of like to like the inverse of that so like they're weaker separated but stronger together that had potential to be something but how they did it was so annoying because like the entire movie it was like flashback oh well this happened it was like too many damn like fan it was like too much like fan service like way too much and then on top of that mm-hmm. the opening scene ramble you remember this shit you got four agent smith sitting on top of a damn building for real all emptying a clip at this one woman and who's running in a straight line by the way running in a complete straight line everybody dumping automatics she ain't get hit not once and this is agent smith we talking about mm-hmm. the nigga <laughs> who kills the nigga who kills these people you feel me so like i have a hard time watching action movies because like my brain it just it just won't allow me to like spend myself in disbelief like like i like comedies or like if i'm watching like animated movies or shit like that then i can have fun with it but shit like this i can't do like john wick i could do because he actually is like reloading and they're using like actual choreography and shit like that i can do that but fast and furious can't fucking do it uh the matrix movie i got irritated fast as hell and then this Call of Duty movie, you know it's gonna be, you know what it's gonna be, y'all. We all know it's gonna be. And then the Rock is about to be out there moving a whole tank. Bro, he held a torpedo and a helicopter. They gonna have the Rock picking up in a whole Humvee to save his squad. Loaded with people, bro. Uh, the, mm. uh, ooh, I'm here too. Question is, what? will I like? more than the mortal kombat 2020 no so probably not because the mortal kombat movie it, i wasn't a fan of it not i still don't really like it for real but it still had its good aspects that i could actually enjoy and, and appreciate yeah, it it had it, it wasn't I it like wasn't as mortal bad as, as i as i thought it would be but it was not as good as i it should have been it's kind of like one of the movies like where if it's on like if, like we all together like just kicking and the movies on i'm like yeah you can leave it. You feel me? It's, it's one of them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You can just leave it. Because if we're being honest, and shout out to the homie on a TikTok, uh, uh, Chevy the Gamer, um, he talked about, he was all like, the problem is like Mortal Kombat story is kind of like everywhere. Like it was good for like a little bit, then it kind of just went everywhere with the multiverse and all this other shit. I'm like, yeah. That's the fact, bro. I was like, Literally he, in one game, they had to start the whole story over, bro. Yeah. Because uh, nigga, nigga, nigga Raiden died for <laughs> he did. I'm like, okay, that, yeah, that makes sense. I was like, that makes sense. Shao Kahn definitely did beat the goofy out of him. Um, he got hammer. He got the real hammer fist. <laughs> man, they retconned that shit out of that man. Yeah, like I, I can understand man. it. It it went everywhere, so I could actually understand why. It was just to me, like the costumes were big. Like we talked about this, the costumes were big as shit. They were they were fucking gigantic. Oh. They should have been more oh, form fitting. Okay. Um, the get over here didn't hit the same. I wish they would have used yeah. the video game one personally. Um, yeah, it boom, get boom. over here. Yeah, like Sub Zero. He he was he was probably he's my favorite character. Obviously, so I'm partially biased, but still, I wish his costume looked different. It is it has looked a little bit like too party city ish for me. It, it looked forced. Yeah, that's word. It looked forced. But it wasn't it wasn't crazy. And on top of that, I'm not gonna lie, watching the the main character get the shit kicked out of him for like all of the that shit was great. The Man, hour get that, and got thirty the, minutes of the video, I'm up, like, bro, bro he his ability is oh I can just get punched and forth what <laughs> nigga plot armor. But his yeah his shit was literally plot armor, which was hilarious. He had the visual representation of plot armor, but bring Johnny Cage. But even still, yeah. like 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 we said, it wasn't too crazy but it wasn't crazy bad either it was kind of eh we've had worse we've had we've worse had way. we've definitely had way worse like mario mario dragon ball avatar fucking oh god uh, oh god, oh, god. Don't the, 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 the second oh. the second hitman movie because the first one was pretty damn good because that dude actually did his thing he had the walk down and everything that movie was actually good um resident evil movies yeah, couple of them. I, not all of them, a couple of them. And the crazy part is, I like those movies, but I can see why people do not like them, and that hurts my soul. Um, but like the Resident Evil movies, uh, hell, I think it was like the second or third actually old school Mortal Kombat movie. Oh, um, Annihilation! Oh man, that one. one was cheesy enough for me to like it. I know people get pissed off about that, but that one was cheesy enough for me to like it. Like this shit is hilarious. But uh, what other what other video game or like nerd type game am I missing? I feel like I'm missing one. Wasn't there a Street Fighter movie? 
That one. Yep, there was Street Fighter movie. Trying to think, was there anything else? Oh, like, there's I'm, plenty. I'm, like I'm, I'm I, like I named off like the big ones. That's why. Yeah, that's. What, I'm like, is there any other big ones that I can remember? That Dragon Ball well, and Avatar. Forget, that, the yeah, Avatar one, one hurts me the most. They call oh, that nigga. Call that nigga. Oh, oh, nigga. Oh, <laughs> bro. Oh, so good. Yeah, that shit like my whole all. thing is like y'all had the rights. Y'all could have used their name. They was being t- they was being so woke. <laughs> so like, like, they literally said, "Hey, we want y'all to make a movie." Y'all had the whole script. But remember y'all had the whole shit. But remember the actual creators of like the show like fucking left because the director and shit was just not trying to listen. No, what the M like on that beat? No, mm-hmm. no, that's the new one. Oh, 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 yeah, it was. <laughs> that's the one that's with that's that Netflix has the rights to. And they just left. They said, "All right, I'm done fucking with y'all." But like they had all that. Remember, we we even shared this clip in the Discord like a couple months ago. They did all this choreography for Earthbenders to move one rock, bro. <laughs> Y'all so much, bro. All right, you know, nigga, all I don't know how much the pebble, animation bro. budget was, but they needed to up it because ain't no way y'all had them do all that movement for one rock. And when you watch the show, they move in hills, boulders, the whole everything. <laughs> Fucking Zuko no had a way. full head of ha- You know what? Let me stop. Let me let me stop because I was in his bag. Zuko in the beginning. Had a full head of hair. It's like, bro, he did not have a full head of hair. He didn't have time. his scar either. You know what? Let me stop. Let me stop. Cause I'm gonna get mad. I, I lo- He's just gonna leave it there. In case y'all don't know, I'm pretty sure Rambles on this boat with me too. We fucking love the last Airbender. Like Avatar, last Airbender. Like that's that's, that's my shit, bro. Yeah. That's bro, my shit. that shit is like top tier, like goat tier, like cartoon, like literally goat tier. So that everybody wants to be an That's how like, it is. Shaolin oh Showdown in that, like there's a there's a collection. There's Shaolin Showdown, Jackie Chan Adventures, he, American Jack Long, he, and Avatar are the all the like. I love them shits. I will fight you over them shits. Avatar, I'll I'll, I'll stab a bitch. I ain't gonna lie. You will <laughs> you will get cut bad mouthing that around me. I'm not gonna lie to you. But <laughs> you will get cut. You will get cut. <laughs> But like, bro, like they had the source material and just said, "Fuck it." The Kyoshi Warriors would know. All right, um, continue on about Bungie. Um, hopefully, we want them to make this shit. We, I, I want it because we played Destiny and shit like that. The cutscenes in the game itself are incredible. Mm-hmm. The, the scores, the music, and shit like that is fire. And then they got Sony, not not like PlayStation, but like Sony. Motherfuckers make the movies and shit. They got them on this. I hope they do it right. I really do. They better not just make it a whole bunch of explosions. It better actually be good. Because Destiny, oddly, is, I'm not going to say oddly enough. It's actually not a bunch of explosions for real. You'd be surprised how little explosions there can be. <laughs> <laughs> for all the powers you have. Explosions? There's not a lot of them. Not a lot. Really not. Like unless like you're killing the thrall, but everybody else kind of just disintegrates. Or unless you have the ace of spades. Love it. You know what I'm saying RP my nigga Kate. I ain't gonna hold you. I I might cry like a bitch if I seen that. If I actually seen that scene <laughs> in a movie or TV show. In a movie or TV show, like his last stand, I'm not gonna bullshit you. I would probably cry. I'd probably tear up. Cause he did go out like a gangster, but dog, that shit hurt. He said, "I'm coming home, Ace." And bro said, you got any last words? Yeah. How's your sister? Bro, <laughs> nigga went out like a gangster. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and continue on, because I, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like we kind of got a little, we got some PTSD talking about these fucked up movies. Um, I do want to say one more thing. What up? Our ghost ain't shit. You want to know why, Woo? Why? We've gotten fucked up by worse. He looked at Cade and said, I can't save him. I've definitely been blown up, shattered bits. I have fallen into a black hole pretty much in that game, and that nigga revived me. But I ain't gonna hold you. We we know why he died for real, like why he's perma dead. But we're being mm-hmm. honest, the biggest ancient niggas of all the fuck is of all our own gang. I ain't said it's not the guardian way. I'm not gonna lie. 
if they if they put that into a TV show or uh, episode, I'm gonna get pissed off all over again. Oh, the Zavala one. Uh huh. Oh, on gang. <laughs> on gang. I hope if they actually do it in a TV show, a core rocks his shit. <laughs> Bro, just slides them. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be sitting on my couch. Ooh, tomato, tomato. <laughs> I'm throwing tomatoes. Corny, tomatoes, tomatoes. I'm throwing tomatoes. I'll be hot, bro. Cause that shit not the guardian way. I was like, nigga, fuck the guardian way. We getting that shit back in blue. <laughs> and we did. Definitely Ooh, did. No, we definitely did. Hey, what if hey, they did a what said, if? I don't give a fuck about the guardian way. I'll be back. We definitely What if they did, did a what if version um, for Destiny? All right, see, that, hey, 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 don't get me excited, bro. Don't get me excited. Don't do that. That shit would be fine. Because I ain't gonna lie. Hey, if they, hey, Sony, if, call me. If they, if they like, say, like, they kill, like, a, like, a VAR, because I should do, like, a VAR. Even though I don't fuck with Warlocks, I can fuck with them slightly more than Titans. Fuck Titans. Um, But if, like, say, like, Zavala got murked, you know, Cade riding off, off top. <laughs> Cade ain't even saying nothing. He's already gone. <laughs> That'd be Where's hard, Cade? bro. Like five minutes ago, as soon as he heard he was dead. Or like if uh Banshee like didn't lose his memory. Bro. That's I'm not gonna lie, that's some of the saddest shit in Destiny. Yeah. Cause that nigga does not remember that Cade died. He's still holding on to Cade's original pistol. Like, yeah, he's, he said he's coming back to get it. Yep. Or like we actually get to see Shaxx and I'm getting too excited thinking about the possibilities that could happen with this. Cause they got so many like Dope characters, and because remember, we was playing Gambit, um, and we was doing that one quest uh, for old boy. He got all. Oh, yeah, yeah bring it back like, to me. <laughs> hey, he got all uppity, stu- head stuck up his ass. Like, bro, why are you giving me so much attitude? And then he realized, oh, that's your pot. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Yeah, and then we, we can learn more about like the Iron Banner, tri- bro. There's so much they could do with that. Please don't fuck this up, Sony. Please, please. I want it to be good. I really do, because the more I think about, the more excited I get. Because like, I I would low key want like to be like a TV show and then go into like a movie. Oh yeah, like how like some animes do it now. Yeah, like just follow that and just go into like a big ass movie and then keep it going. Is it like it happened? You just make it a movie, bro? Because then they can start from Destiny One though, like from the beginning type show, like even before that. Man, let me stop. Let me stop. Mm, mm, mm. I want to play Destiny, but I can't. I'm hurt. Uh, and state the fucking obvious news. EA admits that Battlefield 2042 was a disappointment. I have not you played think? that game since launch week. <laughs> I played I, that shit played one it. time and it didn't work. Uh, yo, I remember I asked K Dog if if he thinks we're gonna be on there. He's like, I don't know. I'm like, well, until I hear y'all say that y'all gonna be on there like that, I'm not even gonna think about buying the game. <laughs> Bro, it didn't fucking work. Like, my PC is good, is really good enough to run that game, like, on medium to maybe even high. Like, a high mm-hmm. 60 frames. I think Rambo, it was Rambo K-Dog. I think you were in here, too. I'm like, Dude. Bro, this shit's framey as fuck on my computer. What the hell? And I was like trying to help you, like maybe we need to turn down some settings. Did all that shit, and it was still moving at ten frames. Yeah, nah, that game, me, that game is not optimized. But we all know when battlefields drop, there's something wrong with it. But this so one is, is so bad. Game. This one's this so one bad though. This one is probably worse than second worst. This is this is so bad though because they're actually. Gonna see, oh God, I, my fault for y'all ears. Um. This game is so bad that it actually they're actually considering making this go free to play. Oh shit. Yeah, then that means it's the worst. This is definitely the worst they've had, but I'm just saying like every battlefield, something is wrong. They always have their issues, but I I finally I'm not gonna say finally. This I hope is the worst one they've put out. It yeah. is, but I hope this starts the trend of just stop putting out these fucking games just to put them out. Cause we've been preaching this for like ever. I think that's why a lot of games especially want to go free to play and some like how Call of Duty is going to the whole multiple years because yearly titles they're cool and people like getting a yearly title. Everybody likes to be hyped when a new game is about to come out like oh this shit might be fire blah 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 but after a couple years it's like alright we already know what this is going to be I can already see how this is going to be an issue I see how this is going to be an issue like it's it's so irritating because like 
even before the game came out we were expecting a couple issues here and there right just like a couple the shit didn't fucking work like completely didn't work at, at all and um the actual ceo or whatever said that battlefield's always been an, an ambitious game or whatever right we could all agree on that yeah. however they said that most of the game was made during COVID 19 and that it impacted the final product to which i would say then why would y'all even bother putting this out then without actually having everybody meet in this like you know meet in the office or whatever to make sure that the shit works and y'all just throwing the shit out there and um what is, what else what else fuck did he say he basically said this in front of like his invest like oh yeah well we did meet expectations or whatever and so on and so forth and what sucks even more right i love star wars rambo fucks with star wars you know what i'm saying Good fact. we ain't never seen a, a battlefront three by the way I don't know that shit is over with. Because all their attention is going towards Battlefield. So Battlefront 3 is not happening. Because all their attention is going to like <laughs> this franchise right here. And it's fucking well, annoying. Trying to fix the game. Well, what's what's the, the the good thing though? We still have three more Star Wars games coming out, and one of them is a first person shooter. Ah, <sighs> yeah. It's not gonna be bad. It's not gonna be Battlefront. I think they're gonna do something different with it. You know what which game? I'm not too mad about. I'm I'm hurt because you know a game really hurts me that we we won't see that yeah. was like revealed at E3. You remember that Battlefront? Uh, not Battlefront, but that Star Wars bounty hunter game. Mm, let me look it up. If it was like at one of the E3s, it was, we were supposed to be like, I think it was like either Django, it was like some type of Battlefront, like 2042 or Order 77 game. I think that's that's what it was called, like Order 70 or Order 76, whatever the order was to kill a Jedi. We're basically gonna play in like that type shit. Order 66? Yeah. yeah you'll have to look it up, but I, rem I remember that shit. Never gonna see it. I think I can. But just stop putting out these games, bro. If, if it's not good if like the game is not good, bro leave it alone just leave it like they push it they push it out and we were excited for it because we've seen the evolution the guns the customization all all the bells and whistles just for it to come out and none of that should work and then you change the controls on us yeah <clears throat> get your shit together it's one of those things where it's, i think they thought you know yeah the game's not finished but they've done it before where it's like all right the game's not finished but you know if we fix this quick enough it won't be that big of an issue they didn't fix it quick enough they didn't fix it quick enough and what they were trying to fix was gigantic like yeah like it was the whole because they've done it before it's like all right we've we've been down this road before we know how to do this but this one it's the worst literally the worst like this was the this is the worst possible scenario and y'all still went ahead with it like i'll be honest because probably rambo and can't remember battlefield 4 i didn't think you know worse than that i don't know i didn't think so either like where the sound doesn't come in at all well, with like delaying I, kills and shit like that but like the game at least worked it was just a couple technical issues this one didn't work at all like i couldn't get in a game I couldn't move. My bullets weren't registering. And we say that a lot when we get killed or like when we don't get a kill. No, I mean, I'm shooting at somebody, gun back of the head type shit, and not a single hit marker. I'm like, okay. Just, just, just lay me on my stomach, man. Yeah, EA, EA will fuck you. EA will fuck you good. <laughs> hey, Ayo? he ain't lying. Raw. <laughs> nah, nah. <laughs> EA will fuck you real good, boy. Trying to tell you. <laughs> heard you. Hey, no, yeah, nah. no Vaseline. Heard and felt. Hey, no Vaseline, bro. Not lying. Heard you both. Dude, if you playing video games for as long as me and we have played video games, oh no, you I just know go back EA. to some of the EA titles that you have played. Oh, oh no, I know they, about EA. Oh, they fuck you good. I'm playing. I've always said I was playing Skate Three when it was like booming. Them servers went down like every other day. Speaking of servers, because me and Big were talking about this the other day. 
You remember the 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 Christmas outage during the PS3 oh, and Xbox God. era, bro? <laughs> Bro, oh, God. And, the, and, and then the <laughs> fake deep quote they tried to give everybody. Wanted people, he wanted people to talk about the summer where. Uh, no, it was, no, it was, it was during Christmas. It was during, yeah, Christmas. it was during Christmas time. GTA just came out, and they was like, "Yeah, we shutting down all GTA these Ghost, Two K, everything. They shut down like the actual like network." I remember yeah, like got 2010, 2011. They got they PlayStation, PlayStation first, and PlayStation was well, down for man. a month. And they said, "Yeah, we going for Microsoft." Bill Gates said, "Line them up in front of me right now." Yes, sir. <laughs> he really did, though. You really hit him yeah. with the. Oh, you want to fuck with the money team? <laughs> hey, Xbox was up at that time. Oh, we got the budget to find y'all niggas. <laughs> Bro, and they really tried to tell us, oh, we just wanted people to spend time with their families. Who the fuck do you, you dictate? Ain't spending no time with your family now. Oh, but here's the thing: it's like, who the fuck are you to dictate how we spend our holidays? My parents spent their hard-earned money on this console and this game for me to go and play, and now I can't because you want to be a bit. Bro, that shit was so funny. Cause I, it sucked like being on PlayStation because our shit didn't get up for like a whole damn two three months. Xbox mm-hmm. shit was up in two weeks, <laughs> damn near a week actually. I say, I really feel like it was a week. So I remember said, getting back on the servers like the same week. Sony said we're not arguing with terrorists. Yeah, Xbox all like, all right, watch this. <laughs> hey, you know they both said we're not arguing with Paris, but Sony just sat back. We're not arguing with Paris. Xbox was on the phone. We don't argue with Paris. <laughs> Cause weren't they asking for like a couple mil too? They was asking for crazy stuff. Like I remember, like they was asking for like ten or like twenty mil. Like I remember they had like a number for like them to cut that shit back on. And Bill was like, all right. Hey, they both said we don't negotiate with terrorists. Bill said, but I do find them though. Bill, Bill masked up for real. <laughs> <laughs> that shit would always be funny to me because they was always oh, want people to spend time with their family. We ain't hear none yeah. of that. <laughs> it was talking real hard when they was fucking with Sony. <laughs> oh, whatever. Hey. Was, yeah. Whole chest was out. Whole chest was out, man. <laughs> when after Xbox, man, they got deflated. That sh- I'm not gonna lie, that will always be funny to me. Bill Gates said, "Who sir? Who sir? Did you turn it off?" <laughs> I just because I remember how hurt I was. I remember I was like on PlayStation. Like I didn't get my Xbox. No, I actually did get my Xbox that year. But I was on PlayStation heavy because I didn't have like I didn't have the uh, the uh, wireless adapter shit. I didn't have that, so I was on PlayStation playing. I remember I was hurt. I was like, I can't play all my games anymore. <laughs> And my niggas on Xbox like, man, our shit's up. I'm like, man, fuck y'all. I bought that, that damn wireless adapter like maybe four or five days later. Bro. And sh- I, remember, I was like, ain't no way they about to turn the servers off and GTA just came out. And the servers for PlayStation were going down like frequently. I was like, yeah. That, like I said, y'all fav- your favorite thing was, like, this ain't got to pay for my internet. I mean, pay for my online services. And I was like, yeah, it worked like you don't do <laughs> Definitely did. The funny thing was, if I was on PC, I definitely would have been flexing though. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. nigga. <laughs> it's all about your connection for the most part. Yeah, I, I have that though, but that shit. I thought about bringing that up because it just dawned on me. I was like, bro, that 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 specific time period was hilarious because it was, was. It was just like, yeah, we're gonna take them down. People gonna spend time with their families, quote unquote. And Bill was like, bitch, I right, you fuck with my money. <laughs> See, there's one thing I don't play about. It's my money. <laughs> Especially Microsoft, bro. I looked at a recent thing. Like, that company's, like, like estimated at, like, fucking, I think, $2.3 trillion or some shit like that. Oh, yeah. Sony ain't got that type of money. Yeah. That's why they could go out and spend $17 billion and just... Right. Just be okay with yeah, it. Yeah, just, <laughs> hey, just, just, all right. You know, just okay. another day. How much y'all want? $17 billion. That's it? All right. <laughs> they looked at him. That's it. We said we can make that happen. <laughs> ain't no problem. Ain't, ain't, no problem. Ain't, ain't even no negotiating trying to get me to lower it. Nah. Here you nah. Go. Hey, you got it. You got it, G. We got you. Hey, as long as, long as you under us, it don't matter to me. Bro, that I shit. Don't no money. <laughs> yeah, cause like yeah, like I, I've looked at I looked at it, it was all like Microsoft's like two point three trillion or some shit like that, and that shit was so goddamn funny. I'm like, dog, you fucking with Microsoft, like. Every not company on earth is using this shit. <laughs> I'm gonna say not just Xbox, Microsoft. 
Because if it was just Xbox, it's like, all right, you know, y'all might get away with like two, three weeks. That's Microsoft. Microsoft. <laughs> Microsoft is always like, oh, you thought because of the name I was really soft, huh? All right. Mm -hmm. uh, That's cool. I could really get you erased off the planet. No one would know. And the fucked part of it with, with, when you got that that T, that trillion, you really can. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I haven't heard of them niggas since, so <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie to you. I don't know what happened to them niggas. Somebody got some damn cinder block shoes for real. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> That's fucked up because what if we're not wrong? Well, got, on the chain gang. got cinder block shoes and a damn tire necklace, bro. Oh, they've been them. swimming for the last couple of years. <laughs> all right, I'm done. Uh, I'm done. All right, mm. and the last bit of news that we got, and this this was just funny and kind of fucked up because you know they're gonna use this as a way to discredit gaming as a whole again. They they do it every year, or yeah. blame gaming for like violence shit like that. <laughs> Apparently, uh, cartels have been using GTA 5 to recruit drug mules. Oh, <laughs> uh, get y'all kids, man. <laughs> get y'all kids. <laughs> Watch what they doing. Because I'm not about to get GTA taken away because y'all can't be parents. <laughs> Cause ain't no way no grown ass. I can't get mad at a grown ass man doing this. This ain't no. That ain't got nothing to do with the video game. That's a grown ass man. That's his decision. Get y'all kids. <laughs> Why are you saying this? I gotta just, just, just walk off. Here. I'm done. Let me die. Let me die. <laughs> I see that. I'm not gonna lie. I laugh, but in the back of my head, I'm thinking they gonna use this. Cause every year they do the same shit where they try to blame gaming for violence and mass shooting. They do it every year. Damn that! They try to get GTA. They've been trying to get GTA taken down since what? Three? Or like actually like two for real? Because even last year they was talking about the kids in like Chicago and shit was breaking into cars. They shot some dude and they was like, "Yeah, they doing the shit they see on GTA." No, nope. they doing the shit Maybe they see on the news. Not even just the news. They've been they doing the shit they see on their block. <laughs> That's how often it is for real. They're doing shit that my folks were doing like in the nineties. <laughs> Like, bro, it ain't got nothing to do with GTA. Some of them kids watch they watch the other grown men on the street doing that to other grown men. So I'm gonna hit this lick. They really go hit a lick. And they just got to mind their business. They got shit to do with you. Shit's funny, but yeah, that, that happened. And then also other funny ass news. Uh another reason why we don't trust 12 or fuck with 12 at all. <laughs> LA cops fired for ignoring a robbery a robbery call to play Pokemon Go. I just started playing that shit again. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh, you did? Uh -huh. I just want to say, they said, yeah, I know, you know, your livelihood is at stake, but this, this fucking Charmander. This fucking <laughs> This fucking Bulbasaur, man. He whooping my ass right now. I'm uh, bro. Bro, I, I wish I could make shit like this up. I really fucking do. But it's like the skits and jokes that we might say and see are really coming to life. You got, you got SpongeBob over here. Put the money in the bank. <laughs> Meanwhile, the cops over there are like, damn. You got a charmeleon? Where oh. you get that? <laughs> they ignored a robbery call to, to play Pokemon Go. Man, they be all right. He ain't gonna kill nobody. And of, take and of course it's LA, no less. But still, like, what the fuck, <laughs> bro? We ain't gonna make it on time, no way. I Art just, often imitates real life. Bro, I made a damn dick joke the other day about carrying your heat, and that might actually fucking happen. I don't know. We Black people have been saying this. You cannot just trust that the cops is gonna be there for you. Oh, uh, bro, what the fuck? I, I just wish I could make Man, that. I gotta shit. Protect myself somehow. You ain't gonna be here all the time. I wish I could make that shit up, but like I read that story and just immediately burst it out in tears. Like my favorite part is like people was like y'all still think they need reform. 
like what, what really kills me about this shit is like imagine like you being held at gunpoint police pull up whoop, whoop, and they got their phones like hold up hold up hold up okay stop right here flick that he shit and, and, and then drive off <laughs> he was like hey put your hands rocking hey bro there's a pokey stop down here wait right here hey hold up no. right quick no that's dead ass i almost ran over the curb getting into the house because i was definitely trying to I was trying to hit a bogey stop, I ain't gonna lie to you. Nigga, nigga, don't admit that. Uh, don't admit uh, that on, on the strength, on the uh, Don't admit uh, that. I thought, this, I thought this was a safe place. I hate you. Nigga, this goes on the internet. Not in the I, thought this, I thought this was a safe place. It's a safe place when it's just us and not recording. <laughs> I was saying, what well, OBS ain't listening. Yeah, it's a safe ass place. I mean, it was the it was the curve to my house though. Like I was pulling up in the driveway. And so like in front of my like directly in front of my house. And if a dunk your shit, three it's three pokey stops, and I don't ever feel like walking around the block, which will probably just be the easier way to do it. But I could just walk around the block and do it. But I don't want to do it. So I was trying to hit that shit while I was pulling into the driveway. Yeah, nah. Didn't work out. <laughs> you know it's funny. Stay stayed on the Pokemon Go topic. There was peace on Earth for like a week when that shit came out, even though it didn't work. But can we for real talk about how wild we was? Like we was grown actually when Pokemon Go came out. So yeah, we was out here really walking for real, like everywhere. Yeah. Bro, I, it was it was peace on Earth, except for motherfuckers did not that did not know how to look up from their phone. Cause remember how many times we heard about people getting hit by cars because they was looking at Pokemon Go on their phone while I'm crossing a, the street. I'm an asshole. Up. I'm an asshole. I definitely laughed at each story I seen say, saying that. I'm not gonna lie. Your damn phone. Look up from your fucking phone, bro. Like remember who was there's like a group of people who fucking hopped the damn White House fence because there was a, uh, like a a Snorlax or some shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's people that's was grade A stupid. After, I ain't, first, I ain't gonna lie. after like that first week to two weeks. It was peace, and then niggas started getting robbed. Like weeks, it was peace. It was Everybody was just robbed. having fun, and then niggas started getting good Pokemon, and niggas was just like, "Yeah, nah, run that shit." My folks really out here robbing folks. They pop that damn Poke lore shit, and then you waiting. You had to walk with a group. <laughs> just imagine robbing somebody for pixels, bro. Like that's... actually robbing somebody for pixels. Not niggas like robbing niggas for, for less. less. No, they definitely less. have. They definitely have. Like it's crazy. It's really nutty to think about, bro. Like there was real dead ass peace on Earth for two whole weeks. But like, I remember for like that two whole weeks, all I seen was Pokemon Go, Pokemon Go, Pokemon Go, Pokemon Go. I didn't see no violence, no robberies for real, no nothing. That's Robbery did happen. No, yeah. but like, I'm talking about, I'm talking about, the, I'm talking about like, the first two weeks though. Like the first two oh. weeks, it was cool. It was like that third week, like that month. That's when shit popped niggas, off. Hey, niggas was outside too long. You and no IRL stream. You got jacked. I definitely seen that. Like I remember, I was literally walking around my neighborhood, like hours on end. And I'm talking about like walking, like how you used to do, like walk to school and back, or to, to the homies and back. Like I was doing that type of shit on a consistent basis. Like me, Oscar, <laughs> Ronikov, uh, Christian. Oh no, that's oh, that's not what that is. I, that's know exa- the... I know exactly what that is. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, I got you. Hold up, you know what I'm saying? I can't hear. Can't definitely, hear. Definitely no. can't hear. I was supposed to be five. <laughs> right. Definitely was out here, bro. We walked for at like night, right? It was like eight o'clock. We walked till about like eleven o'clock. Walked around like six different neighborhoods, bro. <laughs> Just trekking. Oh, I missed that time. It was so peaceful. Imagine, you know what'd be crazy? What? The crazy thing to really think about is because COVID, like the actual virus, we've known about it. Well, not we, but people have known about it since 2013. If that shit would have broke out back then, it would have been up for us. I ain't gonna lie. People would have gave no fucks. <laughs> I would have gave. Like, was not in the house. Hey. I'm gonna take my chances. Like you remember seeing the videos of everybody being at that uh I forget the name of the pier. I know what you're talking about though. I know exactly what you're talking about. I can't yeah, think of the that, name though. That pier, like Nick, you could not see the actual pier. It was just people floating. Yeah. Like I remember when <laughs> I was in Tempe. 
Pokemon. He's like, I got it. Everybody's like, yeah. Bro, I was I was in Tempe with uh with my with my homies we were celebrating the homegirl birthday and shit. I remember I literally straight away from the pack for like 30, 45 minutes, and I don't like being around a whole bunch of people, but they was all playing Pokemon Go. I was on news because everybody had their phone out. And I looked at mine, I was like, yo, there's Pokestops everywhere. And of course, drunk white dude was over here like, hey, you play Pokemon Go? I'm stark sober, but I'm all like, I mean, they lit. Fuck it. Hell yeah, I'm playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> and he's like, come on, man, let's go ahead and walk around. I'm like, I don't know you, but fuck it, let's get it. <laughs> if there's one person I will trust, sort of, sort of, a drunk white man, a very honest drunk white man. Bro, we walked around, I swear to God, for like 30, 45 minutes just walking around playing Pokemon Go. This motherfucker was like, what Pokemon you got? We was over here talking about like which ones we had, which one we were trying to get. I think I had like Hitmon, Hitmonchan or Hitmonlee. I, I don't have my account no more or have it on my phone. I have to fucking redownload it and check. But so he got that. I'm like, yeah, this motherfucker showed me he had Snorlax. I ain't gonna lie. I want to fade him. I want a Snorlax. But <laughs> I was like, damn, we, we literally walked around. Like I made a new friend in like 30, 45 minutes. Like, all right, bro, I'm gonna head to, to this club. Whatever. He's like, all right, man, have fun. And then we just separate. I'm like, what the fuck just happened? I used to never do this shit. <laughs> trying to tell you like the that, world was the world was a big ass playground all over again when that shit came out everybody was like nigga fuck fighting nigga. i'm trying to catch this snorlax <laughs> yeah i kept trying to figure out why like i was at back then i was working at sonic and niggas was niggas kept coming in the parking lot but wasn't nobody ordering food i kept, kept trying to i was like yo everybody pulling up to the drop but nobody ordering food so like one of my managers went outside. He was like, "What are you like? Are y'all gonna order?" He's like, "No, nah, we trying to catch this Pokemon." I was like, "I'm fucking dead." <laughs> oh man, I miss it. I miss it. That it was it was just so peaceful, man. I was so much simpler back then. And it's crazy too because like we're talking about like we was like we were like 14, 15. Nigga, we was like what 21 and shit. Like 21, 22. <laughs> I was like, motherfuckers was grown men living their childhoods again. Right. Actually living them in real life. It feels like it was so long ago and it really it, it feels like a whole nother like era. <laughs> it feel like it. And then you realize, damn, that was not that long ago. It was like, all, like maybe like four or five years ago for real. That's it. I didn't even have a car back then. I had I one and I still was just like, nigga, we walking. <laughs> that was the whole enjoyment of it oh my god i miss it I, I really fucking miss it but let's go ahead and wrap this shit up so uh games with gold uh for this month will be broken sword never yield uh hydrophobia i already hate that title i ain't gonna lie to you and uh Man. bugs as for ps plus you get planet coaster i actually might try that one i, I already have it on pc never mind uh ufc4 which is what you've been watching like kenny play over here uh and tiny tina's assault on dragon key it's like a Fire. it's like a uh, it's like a, a separate like borderlands thing isn't it uh-huh yeah so that's the game that y'all get uh free this month not gonna lie got some heat playstation playstation but xbox got some heat too but xbox ain't gonna be for everybody yeah PlayStation got some straight up heat that tiny tina that tiny tina shit just came out recently like it ain't been out that long and i will say by the way uh y'all could expect some damn ufc4 content pretty damn soon because this shit about to be hilarious i'm not gonna lie to you we about to have full-on referees and 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 comment and color commentary um but that's all i got on on the show notes yeah dig what i'm saying so uh we gonna go ahead and go and do our outros uh kenny you've been out here knocking niggas out so go ahead brother go first you know what i'm saying i've been knocking niggas out but when I'm not making that, knocking niggas out, I'm Kenny Sins, man. Yes, sir. I'm out. I want to kick him so bad. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, You're Rambo. I'm saying another good episode. You know what I'm saying? And uh, give me like, give me like two days, chat. I'm gonna be knocking Kenny smooth the fuck out of here. He gonna be Kenny dead, is what he gonna be. You know what I'm saying? We out. Can sleeps? <laughs> Can sleeps? Uh, go ahead, Biggie. Been a good time talking about games. I always enjoy it. Like I said, new video coming soon. I'm probably going to start working on it tonight. 
and yeah, that's about it <laughs> thank y'all for watching and last but not least denison oh, here we go <laughs> you got five ladies seconds, and gentlemen you? as i said before kobe couldn't take a real nigga out so whoever was praying on my downfall you failed but as of right now as of this podcast it has been absolutely unquivocally amazing the way that we speak about these games so now that you know that bring make sure you bring your ass back now listen for some more because it's been me it's been real and it's been absolutely undoubtedly undisputedly all right we're we're not gonna get to no that's that, crazy <laughs> You don't cut him off like that. My man, be right. cold with me. You wildin'. No, nah, that's crazy. Where my guy go? No, nah, where my guy go, nah, bro? Where that's yeah, bro. crazy. Nah, <laughs> you wild, bro. Bro, that was long as hell, you know. That's, nah, how, that's, man, this that, that, that's shit what off. he do, though. He was getting his shit off. I need him to join back in talking Dragon Man. See, see, they don't fuck. See, see, Biggie don't fuck it up for everybody. Fuck the whole outro. I hope you're not still trying to do the outro. <laughs> see, that, probably don't know he got kicked. Probably don't. Probably, probably still can't talking. Hear it. You goddamn. Oh, I hope you have a nightmare tonight. I probably will. Probably I'll be a grizzly bear again. I hope you get jumped by a grizzly bear and fucking blastoise, nigga. Uh. Anyways. He will make sure you rate the podcast five stars now podcast and spotify as per usual share us on all major uh, social media platforms because we know you got them you dig what i'm saying with that being said folks make sure y'all be safe out here because covid ain't fucking around and playing with nobody uh stay hydrated stay vitamin up and be nice yourselves and be nice to everybody else uh we gonna holla at y'all in the next one bye and fuck biggie